Dude, integrals, differentials. Happy Halloween. I'm Donald, by the way, in case you couldn't tell. And welcome back to my kitchen. And on this menu, I'll be serving you the most delicious pigeons you'll ever taste. Man, there were so many of them in the park. Pretty easy to get. And you may think that pigeons, they ain't going to taste great. They're not going to be the top, the best Pokemon. But look at its stats. 220 hit points, 130 damage. It will two-shot anybody. So when you see this bird fully loaded and charged, you better be afraid. Of course, I'm going to show you how this deck works and you're gonna see it in three awesome yeah mostly awesome match so let's get started you know i don't think i can talk like this for the entire video so let me break out of that and we're gonna play my remix of a uh, seed and the sword this month's intro and let's start off with mega pigeon now i was saying before 220 hit points mega level tanky beefy and the damage is great it's two shots so you definitely do have to be afraid when this thing is coming at you it's really easy to charge up it's colorless you can fit it in any deck element but for this time or this time yeah i'm gonna choose darkness because i like the partner that goes with mega pigeon we'll talk about zora arc in a bit now mox cyclone has a secondary effect and that if you don't want to deal with the front Pokemon, you can say, Oh, yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm the king of birds. I ain't going to deal with you. And then you force your opponent to switch. They get to choose who to switch, but they cannot keep the active in the front. Largely, this is negated by Floatstone. So if there's a Floatstone somewhere, ain't going to do anything. But it will two-shot everybody. So you do have to be scared of this bird. And its first evolution is good, too. Mirror move. You hurt Pidgeot, it does the same damage right back. So you can't hit it too hard, or you can, but for one energy, it bounces all that right back at the enemy. So this is quite a dangerous uh, basic Pokemon. And Feather Lance, three energies, 80. It's not quite that two-shot KO, but it does a little bit of bench damage. And it's pretty good for a three energy attack because there's no real penalty. And of course, you're going to evolve into a Mega Pidgeot anyway. So it's still a playable card. The stats are there. It's dangerous when charged up. Now, what's its weakness? Of course, it's an actual weakness, and it is Mega. So I really wanted a good non-EX partner. And I think, you know, Zorark, Zorark Break, they're one of the best out there. So I chose Dark as the complementing element. Stand in, you can jump in, you get free retreat, although this guy already has free retreat, but hey, even more, that's better. Status effect removal too. And let's see, Mind Jack, they fill up their bench with Shamans and Volcanians. You get 30 more damage for two energy. So it plays Mind Tricks. Should I put more damage Pokemon's down? His Zorark's gonna go out crazy, so. That's always a good card. And we have Zora our Break. 140 hit points, bit beefier, and only one energy to attack. You pick any of your opponent's attack and use it. And it's great when you see like a Mega Mewtwo or something, which you will get to see, or something strong. And that's that. Two complements, they share the same sort of energy acceleration. Double colors, energy. He can use it for mind jack for a quick mind jack, which sometimes you need to do this. And, you know, it, this guy needs three energies, one double colors, one dark, two turns to charge up, which is very good. So, both low energy costs, both of them sort of complement each other. When one's weak, the other is well, cool fill in. Now, what else in this deck that is, you know, for this deck, and just not part of the regular deck engines, like the draw supporters we have here, trainer males. Shrine of Memories. I couldn't think of a better, cooler stadium. So this thing allows my uh, my pitches to use their mirror move. Sometimes, if Mega Pitches doesn't have enough energy, I can use that to fight back. That'd be a cool compliment. And what else? We have Spirit Link, of course. You want to evolve Mega Pokemon, you don't want your end turn to end right there. And I did add an extra Evo Soda because. There's a lot of evolution going on, and it can just home in on the Zorark, Zorark Break, Mega Pitch. So, 
this is the deck setup. You like Mega Fidget? It can't be good. Okay. You know it's got the stats, so it can do it. So let's see it in the matches. You know, if there was anything that Pidgeot ever taught us, is that right outside the starting zone, you see a bird. And you know it evolves twice? Pidgeot, Bravery, Talon Flame, Sweatlow. You know it's good. All those forward Pokemon, they've always been great. So, Sun and Moon this month? Yeah. Go ahead and catch that out, Pokemon outside, because this could be awesome. So, anyways, welcome to another P Mega Pidgeot Zora Arc Break match. I'm going to play Zen Zen Sense from your name. And let's get started. Wow, Mewtwo fully loaded up with DCE and energy. Can you face off with this Pidgeot? Well, luckily he can't evolve this turn. And, ooh, I kind of need those cards. Zoro has out. has got a Spirit Link. I am pretty darn scared. So, what am I going to do? I'm out of draw supporters. I'll go ahead and play this right here. I have a float stone. So, you know what? I've got to risk this. I have to. This is a free prize card. Let's go ahead and take it down. Feather Lance, we're going to go ahead and weaken off that bat guy right there. So, hopefully he doesn't go mega. Because if that's mega, that's it for me. So, we took out a prize card but Mega Mewtwo. It's like, oh, you fell for my trap if Mega Mewtwo comes up. I mean... Hey, it's Mega Mewtwo. With our six being energy, six energies between us is 170, and Mega Pidgeot actually would survive that. But it's not a Mega Pidgeot. So he put the fourth energy on. Max Elixir. But we're just waiting. We're waiting for the Mega Mewtwo. So Sycamore. He's like, oh yeah, it's gonna come for sure. I mean, with that big of a card draw, crazy. Zorua comes out, and what's the verdict? Ooh, it also has the damage swap too. So that's pretty crazy right there. Max Elixirs, man, he pulled out all his... That's all four Max Elixirs at the very first top half of his deck, so that's pretty crazy. Now for myself, I'm looking... Oh, where's my, my Drowl Supporter, man? He shoved them all away, so it's like, what should I do? Probably Shatter Shot. Yeah. And then I wouldn't be remove that move. This Pokemon took was damage? Mm, I'm okay. Wait. I have a spirit link. I will survive. <laughs> I will survive. Yeah, let's go ahead and mega evolve you. And do I want to keep you here or not? I do want to do a much. Wait, wait. No, I don't want to keep you here because you're going to damage swap me. And that. Actually, you are going to damage swap me anyways because look at that. There's a float stone right there. So he's like, yeah, I'll just go ahead and swap you back. No, that's okay. That's, you know. If he damage swaps me, whatever. If he mega balls and hits me, that's gonna be really bad. So he has his Zora arc up. He's gonna retreat, but now he this is where he was looking for his draw supporter, but he may be stuck like I am. Like I have a verse seeker here too. So damage swap. Okay. Damage change. Oh. For a moment there I thought I was KO'd. He was like, ow, and then he decided, no, I'm not KO'd. I'm okay, guys. So Let's go ahead and use Mox Cyclone once again. But this time, it doesn't matter. Because he has a retreat. So I'm going to go ahead and just say, yeah, whatever. Right? So, 130. Is this enough for me to, for him to Shatter Shot? It doesn't really matter. He's putting another energy there. This card can KO this card. So I'll be okay. And we're both like, where is all our troll power, man? Mine's still hidden. Him? I don't know. Not so sure. So, let's go ahead. Wow, he put the next energy on there, so that is going to be a KO. He was forced to, so 90 damage. I lose my Mega Pokemon first. This thing doesn't go Mega just yet. Zoroark comes up, and looking at the next Pokemon, it's no big deal. In fact, this can be a Zoroark Break. Yeah, here, Zoroark Break, you get some more hit points. And look at this, Bench 90. Oh, that's, that's definitely enough. Let's go ahead and use... Darkness Edge, Mind Jack. I think that's the move. Mind Jack, take this 100 damage. We are so lucky we did not see a Mega Mewtwo pop up. But two prize cards. It is a Shaman that's finding some draw powers. It kind of sucks when you get your first seeker and there's no supporters. Like, where are you? You're supposed to be on the job. DCE comes in. We have no Mega Mewtwo in sight, which is great. All those Max Elixir came out, but half his deck. 
Doesn't look like, well, that's that. Okay. Shaman, I'm forced to play you. Yeah, for two prize cards because I have 39 cards. I haven't been able to land a single draw supporter. It's Sycamore. I discard everything. Finally, the card flow comes in. Now, I can force one of these two cards to come out. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So, I'll force this out. Hopefully, uh, hopefully this Mewtwo. I want to soften it up in some way. It's going to be a Shaman. Oh, you're going to give your Shaman up. I guess, like, yeah, I don't care. Now, I don't need really need the Stadium. He really benefits the Stadium much more than I do. So, I really want another Mega Pitch it out. Because this is really what this deck's about, right? Yeah, so, let's go ahead and play you. And Shaman, go ahead and have this card. Put a DCE right here. We can copy uh, one of your moves. Let's use... That's actually no good card to copy. Attack to copy. So I'm going to use Mind Jack. There we go. 70 damage. Just weaken a little bit. And if we are a little worried. Mega Mewtwo may come out and just one-shot this, which would be pretty bad. Yeah. So maybe, you know, if I were to play it safe, I may have retreat. Uh-oh, Zorar comes out and it's got the energy to attack me. But, like, we have the same amount of bench space. 70 dench damage. I think he's still stuck. <laughs> Bye, Jack. Ooh, the luck, luck isn't with us, buddy. You and me, man. Here we go. So, Sycamore. Alrighty. What do we have? We have a Mega Pidget. We got another DCE up. Okay, you know what? I'll play this right here. I am going to go ahead and... Re I can mind jack you back, but that's okay. You, I don't think he can't finish this. No, he can't finish this just yet. So I'm gonna use this opportunity to mega evolve my Pidgeot. There we go. So now you're tanky. You've got the hit points, but you will go one shot down to a Mega Mewtwo, which thankfully has not arrived yet. Otherwise, uh, it'd be so terrible. So what's gonna happen? Just gonna wait and let's see he's got free retreat he can hit the shaman it's like dang if only he had one more bench pokemon so this thing's so loaded up but mega mewtwo just is not here <laughs> okay so we got zora arc line coming we have lysander maybe lysander isn't here yet he's still somewhere in the bottom of my deck okay and either way whoever comes out this if this mewtwo does go mega we're in trouble. So he's like, what's with my luck? Where's all my, uh, what ha why hasn't Mega Mewtwo come out? I'm like, I don't know. I was stuck at the start too. He decides it's going to send the Mewtwo out first. Why? He can damage swap for sure. He's going to shatter shot. Okay. So what am I going to do? I can go back, uh, mock Cyclone and it's going to be a whole shebang just right again. You know what? Let's go ahead and retreat. I don't know who to retreat for. And actually, nobody... Let's let's hold off on the decision, that decision yet, because I've got to think a little bit on what to do. Let's go ahead and drop a, drop some more cards. We are going to definitely stick more. So I'll take another Zerua. All right, Zerua, go ahead and pull... pull, pull I'll play you down, and I am going to stick more. All right, what do we have here? We do have an energy. Definitely want to get the second guy loaded up. What am I going to do? I'm going to save this card, because it goes Mega Mewtwo. I can for sure one-shot this Mega Mewtwo. So I'm going to use Mox Cyclone. You can damage swap that. You know, just go ahead and say no. Make sure you, you know, don't waste time so he doesn't have to retreat and all. You can damage swap me, but you're not going to KO me, which is good. He can go Mega Mewtwo and KO me, or he can just force the damage swap, which I'll just hit him again. Either way, this is going to force him to get the... He gets going to KO me first before I can KO him. Sycamore, we may s finally see it. Oh, I, I don't know. Maybe you can go ahead do that, but that's just oh man. Take a look. That Zora Arc can finish me off. It's all about the trading. So Zora Arc versus Zora Arc, and those were two empty males. He's looking for that Spirit Link. He's found them. Maybe he may have it. He may not. Ultra Balls. I was like, I don't need the energy. I don't need the Float Stone anymore. I'll look, I'll, yeah, you, re you have that card. Shaman, wow. They must be in his prize cards. Yeah, so two Shamans down. He's like, give it to me. Where is it? I cannot find it. Spirit Link. That looks like that may be, may be it. 
Mega Mew too. Are you gonna damage swap me or not? You damage swap me. You get the KO, then I'll just KO your Pokemon right afterwards. And he'd be vulnerable to a Lysander. No, no, I'd be scared. I'm very scared of a Lysander because now he can just easily get to shaman up. He's gonna damage swap. <laughs> He's like, I'll, I'm pretending I'm just faking to be dead, guys. Let me see the damage. One, two, three. Six. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these two energies back, as well as the Zora Art Break. Alrighty then. And, am I gonna end? That's gonna short me out. Let's go ahead and evolve. Get, make sure I have another Zora Art Break out to deal with this uh, Mewtwo. Zora Art Break. Now, I need both cards, but I really want the Zora Art Break. So, let's go ahead and drop you down. Okay, this, this is gonna bring me down to my knees on my, my card pulls, but that's okay. There's the Lysander. I can't attack, but let me do the math. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six. There are six. You're at full health. Seven cards. Seven times three is enough. You have to jump in. Only this guy has enough energies to do so. So we're going to make him jump in. We're going to lose this card, but it's going to be so worth it. Here we go. Use foul play. I can only copy one card, so we one-shot it. We have an N up here, and... Yeah, you gotta watch out for that. Ooh! And maybe the Super Rock would be pretty good, too. You know, my deck is looking low. Should've grabbed that, too. So, Zorark comes out. Yep. My bench is almost, almost full. So he'll be able to finish this off. I have one prize card. There's only one card that can actually survive, but... Hey, I have Lysander here. He needs to really go for an N and shut me down, because... Man with the plan, he's right there, and he's gonna end. There we go. So I'll be locked up at one prize guard, and what are we gonna see? It's gonna be a pigeon. Ooh. Okay. And this guy, can he damage swap? It, he could damage swap, but that's okay. But victory. He's like, I, I give, I, nope, not gonna deal with that. I don't know. I guess he had four more prize cards left. He had a pretty. Unlucky game that that Mega Mewtwo was like stuck at the very back. So yeah. Oh, okay. Not bad. Not bad. So let's move on. Let's move. Shift tree deck. Oh man, I have never seen this. Well, played against this before, but okay. How strong is it? The two shot very fast. I'm looking forward to this. So let's get started. Welcome to. Another Mega Pidget Zora Arc Break match. I'm gonna play my remix of Alderman of the Sky, the opening for anime. So, let's see what you got. Yes, uh, one more card pull. Can't hurt, can it? Alright, see that. Buy. Flip a coin. If it if it's heads, it's not gonna get KO'd, but it will take, well, all, all the damage. So, this one, he just has no faith. Yeah, it's the front one. And I'm gonna end away. This, there was nothing really I, I could have played. I'll, the first thing I would have done was just play this whole I get a draw supporter. So, this may not be so bad. It negated my early advantage where I had an extra card, but that's okay. You know, that's, that's really much more fair than anything else, getting the extra card. So, trainer mail, it's like, hey, what's in my mailbox? Maybe a level ball as a verse seeker. Hey, that means guaranteed he's gonna end, at, at least he can get in again. So, professor's letter, why? Okay. He can. Who, None of these could have evolved. Okay. I'm going to discard your stadium, make it a little bit harder for you to evolve your stuff. And I don't really want to waste this energy, so we're going to have to shuffle away. And hopefully we can get, like, our core star, our mega pitch it up. You know, there we go. And, let's see, is this my first turn? I think so. Yeah, this is. So, let's go ahead and play these down here. I'm going to save this. I want to save this Ultra Ball for a level ball. And if case... In case he, you know, he shuffles, uh, no, he uses, let's see, what's that, Delinquent. I still at least, at least has one card to, to play, otherwise Ultra Ball, hmm, okay. And yeah, Ultra Ball is my lifeline to getting more cards, is basically what I'm saying. Which, what would you trade off? Man, two Zorark. I'm psychic. I am so psychic. Still, I would need a draw as a border, but... <laughs> Yeah, so I'll be stuck for a couple turns. He's got me right there. I was just talking about it. I am psychic. So we act unfortunately do not have any more cards. 
the discard <laughs> for a shaman, but who knows? If the next one's a draws a border or a reverse secret, that's gonna be excellent. So Dust Leaf is coming out. Yeah, I'm gonna bank on it. Come on. It is sycamore. You didn't get me at all. Yeah. Oh well, you did, you did. You forced these two guys to go down. And an ultra ball. So I was like, no, you now you should have kept the ultra well. Nah, this is just what I had in hand. So we do have Mega Pidget. And now if another one comes through, I'm a little scared. Okay, who can actually attack? Nobody can. Well, okay. Let's go ahead and pull some more cards out. Oh, I should have played that trainer mail, shouldn't I? He's like, no, I could save it. I could use it. I'll go ahead and play this again. Now you can go ahead and play that again, but you would be risking it. So, oh, I think I'm going to go for an end. Yeah, just give me an end. Be, be of use. So, I think that's it. I'm waiting for my Pokemon to evolve, but they haven't yet. Oh, well, play this guy to evolve and not enough energy. So I've been splitting my resources around. There wasn't much that I could do about that. So Nuzleaf, escape rope. Looks like he's ready to attack. I'll send, uh, I'll send you out. I was like, yeah, I'll take this. I have 200 hit points. There's no way I can. I'm, I've got to be scared, right? So Sycamore is not going to be a delinquent. But now we have to be afraid. Any, If he wants to, it's going to happen. The stadium is going to go. And I lose three cards. But I'm pretty sure he's comfortable that he knows at least for sure I can pull it out, pull this off. So Shiftry comes in extra sensory. We have the same amount of cards. We don't. He shouldn't have played that. Well, yeah, yeah, no, he could have. That, that actually makes sense. We have the same amount of cards. It is 120. In which, if I reflect this back, it'll hurt, but it's not gonna finish it off. Which is what I'm a little afraid of. So a sensory and. If I use my big attack, it's not going to pull through too. So basically, basically, there's no way I can two shot, one shot this Pokemon because of the way the deck is set up. So I'm since we have a you know the best time to play an end is right at the start. So let's go ahead and do that. See if I can get some better cards out. Yeah, we do have some cards, but they will not evolve. My Pokemon will not evolve. Wow. We do have an Ultra Ball. We definitely need to get a Zora Arc or something up. And he's careful not to fill up his bench. So, there's that too. And let's go ahead and get the Zora Arc breaks up. And at this point, I, I'm, I'm afraid. If I get three cards, that's it for me. So, let's go ahead and use Mirror Move. Take this 120 damage right back at you. And this sh leaves him um, comfortable enough to make sure the Shiftry can attack. But for sure, I'll be able to attack next turn as well. And he's got to worry about getting more Pokemons up. And he's got to get the stadium out too. So, Shiftry, uh, you have to match my hand. So, that guarantees a match for sure. Oh, and getting the first attack on me was pretty big. Let's say if I mock Cyclone, I could have forced him back too. And that would have prevented him from attacking. So, there's that. All right. So, now he's taking the Summer Prize cards. This means that I'm going to be at a better favorable position when I play this card. So, I think I'm going to send you out, because if you evolve, it doesn't matter, I can retreat them. But I really want these guys to evolve now. One of them is locked up there. We're going to end again. This will shrink you up, but hey, this is going to give me the maximum card ball. This could pull more. This could be much more favorable for me. So, let's see. Pidget, Mega Pidget, excellent. Let's go ahead and evolve you as intended. And who's going to get this? Probably the Pidget. Yeah. Let's go ahead and use Mind Jack. Take this. It's only tiny 70 damage, but that's enough to finish you off. DCE, I definitely want that. And, okay. I see another Mega Pidget there. This means this is, well, the last one that I have outside of my deck. But I really want a Spirit Link for that. So, it won't be too big of a deal. Nuzleaf comes out. He's pretty confident here. So, level ball. This matches in my hand, but he doesn't have the big guy yet. And it's like, yeah, you don't have the big guy. This guy can still evolve. So, it's a two-shot, basically it's just really uh, efficient two-shot. Now, let's leave C dot all these cards back. I don't think he pulled any. He may pull one energy, but, you know, that's just only one grass energy. He hasn't pulled any DCEs yet. And there we go. Only the shift tree. He didn't want these two. I, was like, I got enough of them. So, going to use the Verse Seeker. Going to use the Link Road again. He must be really stuck. He really should have pulled some more cards out. I'm not gonna uh, be stuck on. I'm gonna keep a sycamore. No way. You. He's playing two. He should have sycamore. Is there a sycamore here? He should have sycamore. So hardened. Next turn, it does 60 less damage. So I can't finish it off. 
Okay, so that's that's a stalling method. Okay. So we do have another pigeon here. We have another Zorark. Alright, so now. I'm looking for the spear link. It's not here. Of course you're not gonna lock me up, dude. You that was really not a good move. So, you know what? Who has so much damage? None of these guys do, but Feather Lance will not knock you out. Wait, it will knock you out. That's weird. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, taking a look at my... <laughs> I don't need anything here, guys. I'll take this. This, this could be a Spear and Link. <laughs> Maybe, and I'll just throw it on my Mega Pidget. So, Nuzleaf is here. Why didn't that block? During your post if this Pokemon would have been attacked, prevent that attack's damage. Well... Does you pierce? Maybe that was a debuff. I don't. I think this should have been. It's really the text. If this thing is supposed to protect itself, like as a buff on itself, it didn't work. This Pokemon would have been damaged to prevent that attack. Done. If that's 60 or less. Oh, I thought it was a 60 shield. That'd be been cool. But I did. I didn't do more than 60. So Sycamore. It was what you should have played. Instead of trying to lock me up. So, Shiftry is up, got the energy, but he didn't match my hand. So he may use uh, Wicked Wind during the Stadium and Poke Tools. I don't have any of those. So, I can use Extra Sensory back, which is going to be pretty creepy. That damage, it made a big difference. So now 120 is able to finish him off. I'm definitely going to go for a Zorark and then try to match it. So, Extra Sensory, only 60 damage. Okay. Let's see what we have here. We have this. We have a... Uh... Escape rope? I don't know. I don't want to risk that. I don't want to risk that anymore. I don't need the stadium. You've got too much, so... Uh, let's just... I don't need anything. So let's go ahead and drop this right here. I will go ahead and play another Zora Art Break. In order to match his hand, though, I need to play one more card, so this looks like it has to be played. I don't see any other combinations. So I'm going to drop this down, and we're going to go and send in a Zora Art Break. We're going to copy your own extra sensory attack and finish you off. So, Mind Jack, foul play, copy extra sensory. We match hands, that's enough to finish you off. Gotcha. So, what am I going to pick up? I guess Mega Pidgeot. Okay, Mega Pidgeot. You know, I couldn't get the Smash the Spirit Links locked up, but that's it. So, ooh. He was trying to knock out my momentum. I think he really needed the Forest of Giant Plants to drop everything down. But if if he could have persevered, kind of like a superior deck that we saw last video with Pikachu, it could have been okay. It does have it stands almost equal to that. So let's see if we can take a look at it. We yeah, it's here. Superior Verazian would have been pretty good coming following upwards. Uh, what is this? Search. Oh, this is Energy Acceleration. And we do not see the four... Yeah, oh, they're there. They just didn't show up. So, it's not a bad... This isn't a good... This is a pretty good shift list, is what I'm saying. So, all right. I think that's that. Let's, uh, let's move on. Let's move on. All right. You know, you don't really look at a pigeon outside and look at this. Oh, that's a cool bird. You think of, like, a falcon and an eagle. But after you see this pigeon deck, you could be like, uh, yeah, pigeons, they can be so much more. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so, anyways, welcome to another Mega Pidget Zora Arc Break Match. I am gonna play closer. Might not change smokers, might remix it. So, let's get started on the game. This is the good old Volcanion. Ooh, I'm gonna love the mirror move that's on this. You, okay. Volcanion. Volcanion EX match. So his strategy is to use Power Heater, charge up his Pokemon, while they have to be, energies have to be in the discard. So this is where he's getting bonus damage and discarding the energies, as well as the stadium. Now luckily, he can't attack me this first turn, but if he does hit me pretty hard, he can't do 170. I can move mirror move it back. Otherwise, I may just force him to switch. He has quite a lot of poke, well, yeah, he has quite a lot of hit points on this with the Fighting Fury Belt, so we're going to see how this trade goes. So the Shuffles Away, that's not too too big of a deal. Actually, I, this would be very big. If I switch this one back, one of his weaker Pokemons will have to come front. No, it has a Float Stone. It would do absolutely nothing. That's a shame. 
That's a shame. So hopefully there is a shaman somewhere. And take a look. He's filling up his bench. Zora Arc is going to be great. But I need to get Pokemons on. Yeah. So he filled up this bench completely. Thank you. Okay. Now, see, I, I need to set up myself. Sycamore. We have the Sycamore. Oh, man. This means I'm going to be pretty... Pretty, uh... Desperate for the Super Rod. Now, I do want to keep that Pokemon up front. This is going to be a user or lose it, so I am going to toss all these guys out. We're going to have to look for that Super Rod pretty darn soon. And now that I have a Sycamore, I'm going to get a Zoro outline if I can start on it. Yeah, because I look at this bench. I look, that's good food. Yeah. So, let's go ahead and give an energy on you. I'm going to go ahead and play Sycamore. And we do have the Shrine of Memories. And we can get a Mega Pidgeot next turn if we really want to, too. I, I may just... I don't know about that yet. Yeah, we're gonna hold up on that. This Pidgeot may be the one like who tanks for us, who takes a hit and just keeps using Mirror Move to soften the Volcanion. It's gonna be a poor trade for me because I'm losing two prize cards. He's only losing one, and yet his damage output is quite high. So, this could be a challenge. Power Heater, ooh, he's stuck. Only 30 damage, which means I can reflect four, oh, 30 back. So, not not the biggest one I'm hoping for, but this means Mega Pidgeot is able to attack. And because of this card's out, I'm not able to, well, deal so much to it. Now now that I know my Pidgeot is quite healthy, I'm going to go ahead and just force this out. So let's go ahead and evolve to Mega Pidgeot. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna definitely going to Sycamore, because I need my draw power, right? And I got Zoroark up. Zoroark actually may be able to take this out. You know, I really want the Mega Pidgeot to, to attack. And then we can force him to switch. That's that's fine too. It's not gonna do anything. This thing kind of negates the attacks effect. So let's go ahead and use Sycamore. We see more Mega Pidgets. We see DCEs. This is not look not not the greatest. I was looking for a Zora Art Break. So we can use Featherlands. We can use Mox Cyclone. I think Featherlands is gonna be like the best. Now nah, let's just get a lot of damage. We really want to get rid of the, these Volcanians. We can't one shot. Uh, would you have a switch? I'm just. <laughs> I should have hit no because if he he should hit this Volcanian and then switch this out. It actually gives him the choice to you know send a healthy Volcanian out. And we'll see. We'll see. I'm not really. Uh, you know this this will be my first Mega Pitcher game uh, against an actual real player. So he does. Yeah, I thought so. Smart move. And now you have a choice to send anybody else. Would you send the unhealthy one or the healthy one? So it looks like 40 damage, anything. Steam up is going to sting, and he's going to hit the big attack, which is going to do 140 right now. And it's going to, you know, yeah, I need another Pokemon to come out and fight pretty soon. Sycamore, yeah, you're looking for that. Now, take a look. I'm probably going to... I don't know. I think I'm going to use N, because N is really good at the start. It gives him... N's not going to... Wow, two more? I'm 190. I am going to survive. So, Max Elixir, who's your next Pokemon? Is it going to be another Volcanion? Or is it just going to be... Yeah, it's going to be another Volcanion. So, this one I can one-shot. Um, can can you do it, though? Steam Artillery, 200 damage. Never mind, you couldn't survive that. Wow. So, he discarded enough energies. The big guy went down. Okay. So, now I really want that Zora Arc. Uh, the rig, just the number two one. Bingo. Got it. And now that he took two prize cards, I definitely want to pull that. Uh, pull his certain move out. Let's go ahead and do this. Ooh, man, he has a... He has that this Volcanium. One energy may be ready to go. If he's got another energy, that's going to be pretty bad. So, let's go ahead and send this out. I am going to end. This is going to shrink his hand. This is going to give you some more cards. And we'll be hoping to pick up uh, some more powerful cards. That's okay. Well... For now it is. Let's go ahead and take the Mega Pidgets back. I don't know if I need an energy. Yeah, just just in case, right? Nah. Let's take the Zorark uh, breaks. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. This is a good move. And I will... Am I, should I play this this turn? Let's go ahead and play this. We may get something like another Zorark so this one can evolve. And it's a Lysander. What is this going to be? This is going to be a Spirit Link. I don't really quite want that. So, I'll just draw it a bit later. Let's go ahead and use Mind Jack. Finish it off. 160 damage, which is pretty crazy. So, I expect him to get another energy up. 
which is gonna, oh, that's gonna really sting. And Volcanion comes out. I don't really want to give him a Shaman. I may just send Zorua and maybe go for the Confusion or just let it go while I charge up with the Pokemon in the meantime. So there's that next energy. That's enough for a KO. He spent quite a bit of energies in his deck. So replace that Stadium. I'm just gonna replace it right after and we'll see what we can pull over. All right, so Sycamore, seven new cards. Let's see, uh, we'll go to, we may end again, or I may stick more myself. So, Zorark, I, I really wanted to go into a break form, so we can copy this attack and just blast it away. So, this is going to probably bring those energies back. Yeah, you don't want those Volcanians back. Or maybe one Volcanian. No, you're going to bring those all those Volcanians back. They're just here to, for the Pokemon power. Hmm. Hmm, Lysander. Oh, you, maybe you might go for the Shaman. Hmm, okay. Are you gonna go for the Shaman? Because, yeah, I would love to KO this for free, but no, you gotta take care of the threat. Alright, so. And, you know, one of the problems with, against this deck is that I feel like it is weak against Lysander. He's, I'm not gonna risk it so far, but hopefully we can pull something amazing. It is gonna be a Zora Art. 160, so if I pull a DCE, I'll be good. So I'm gonna be take a risk. Pull that DCE out, man. Seven cards. That is a DCE. Perfect. We do have another one of these guys. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and use Mind Jack. Take this. 130. Just enough to KO you and all those three energies out. But remember, he can still KO me. I may be able to get another Zora Arc ready to go. Two of them are gone. So if you live, that'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. I can turn you into a Zora Arc break and he's not ready to attack. So. He's sending this guy out. He's not sending the one with the retreat, like the free retreat. So this guy may be stuck unless he has the retreat somewhere up there. And if I Sycamore, I think I'll be okay for now. And if he puts more Pokemon on his bench, that's going to be pretty crazy. This is Guard of the Lysander. Ooh. And, okay. I got a minute. Pulling the Zora Arc is pretty clutch. Uh, what else? This thing needs... He still needs a lot of energies to discard to get the one shot. So Fisherman, oh man. Three energies. Wait, wait, how many can you pull out? All four of them. That is going to be pretty scary. So we do have a Zorark. We may have a Zorark. We actually don't know. So, one energy. If he discards all three of them on this Pokemon, it's going to sting. Ooh, it's going to really sting. And if he gets a Shaman, that's going to be bad too. So, discarding all those. We got to go for another clutch Zorark in the end. I guess that's, yeah, that's the move. So that's... Oh man, Power Heater 110. So, this, if it's a Zora Arc again, we'll be okay. Unless it's prized up or I don't draw it. It's, it feels like a 50 50. Yeah, and then afterwards, Volcanion come out and finish off my Zora Arc, which is pretty bad. I don't know where all my Pidgets are. So, Pidgets is what I'm really wanting. Okay, we do see a Pidgeot now. Okay, let's go for. I really wanna uh, moonlight madness. Okay. If I discard this, I may be in a peril because I'm down to my last few cards. I have to gamble on this. I have to gamble that this confusion will work. Because if I play this, I could have gone for a Zoark, get a KO, I just wasn't confident. He has a Volcanion, he has a Floatstone, he... Oh, he can switch it out, finish off Azura. He had it all under control. And if he gets a Lysander, that's... Oh man, perfect. Perfect. GG. GG. Man. I should have pulled out a Sycamore and just try to finish that off, but... Well, it's, it's, all my pitches weren't there. Okay, so... And that's that. Let's move on. Oh, you know, I'm back and take that Volcanion in a rematch any day. So, we just needed some more pitches at the start of that game. Anyways, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you and congratulations. So, it is time we rate this deck. Now, let's see. You've got great stats. Your damage is the halfway mark. So, I'm going to give you a B. 8 out of 10. You definitely got the stats. Mid-tier damage. Because it's going for two-shot. Mega Mewtwo, two-shot. Even the lowly Shiftry, two-shot. So, it's the two-shot kind of deck. That's good enough. Now, where's the where's the weakness? I 
if having no strength is a weakness, I'd say that's his weakness because all it really has is the numbers. It's not anything, you know, unusual or amazing. The Pidgey, the Pidgey, the regular one is. The mirror move is something that we haven't quite seen. But this the fact, I guess you haven't seen it on the EX Pokemon, but it really did nothing, especially with the, um, the free retreat. So that's my assessment for Pidgey. Zorark, I mean, he's a great fit with anybody. Well, any deck you can fit it. So I think uh, there are still many other combinations you can explore with Pidgey. But maybe you just go for a Rayquaza. Maybe you just go for a Mega Aldino. And you may get some, you know, different strengths other than just something that could be negated with the Float Stone. I think that's good enough for the assessment. What is up for next time? So we're going to use Blastoise. We got the Spirit Link. So now Mega Blastoise is more vital. We got to take a look at how he fits in because he's, hey, he's quite the same now. And then now Volcano's gonna be really afraid of this guy. Oh yeah. Now, that's up for next time. Uh, if you like any of the remixes you heard, they're on iTunes now. They'll be on Spotify pretty soon. So anything you haven't heard in the past month, they're there. And uh, please like, subscribe. As you know, you're gonna get more great videos just like this. And that's it for today. So thank you very much, Integrals and the Frenchals. I'll see you back really, really soon for Mega Blastoise. This is the start of evolution, so we're going to kick it off pretty hard. That's it. Bye-bye.